Here is the 0842 Lightning. This one does have a bow thruster, which is pretty nice. Also, you can see it has a spare on the trailer. The underside's in great condition. Shore power hookup. It's a triple axle Myco trailer with a drive guard. Okay, planes, underwater lighting, the rub rail right here. It's a very small dent. Is the starboard side? There's a little scuff there. I don't think it's a scratch, it's just a scuff. Up as well, but a little bit of dock rash here on the side with one little chip. But I think that's the only chip on the boat in total. Final's in really good shape. I haven't seen any issues there. That's a waste pump out with your anchor light in the back. It has upgraded sea deck flooring with a few garments, and we'll go over that. Storage here on the side for ropes. It's nice smoked glass. JL audio speakers. A 
it does have four hookups for helmet headsets. I don't think it comes with it though. Automatic drop down bolsters. Driving tab, manual indicators, and we will go over the Garmin. Okay, we're on the 42 Fountain with the dash right in front of me here. What we're going to have is our fuel gauges are down below and they are um, analog um, up here on the Garmin. Um, it is an XSV. What you're gonna mainly use are these four functions, and this is your favorites tab. Um, your engines will be displayed here, and you will scroll through. You're gonna have your normal information, but it's just gonna be within the Garmin. So GPS, fuel, oil pressure, engine temp, coolant, RPMs, battery voltage. It's nice, it does give you a really good fuel economy readout. Um, Total fuel, fuel flow, and you'll see your range as well. And really what you're going to see here is just what you really want to look at. Um, so once you get your preference on the screens, that's usually where you stay. But all these are just doubles of the engines themselves. And then middle is your GPS speed. We'll go back to home. This will also control your media. I don't have the head unit on right now, but you'll be able to control sound and things of that nature and Bluetooth as well. Navigation, wherever you're at, um, you can see here that you can watch your tracks. Those are all those little black and white dots, but um, wherever you're located, you'll be able to get an update on your lake itself and it's uh, just a nice little piece of navigation. Up here, you have your manual drive and tab indicators, bow thruster, fuel tanks, and then tabs and drives with your hatches. On that side, it's a very similar garment, it's just smaller, so you'll be able to control the exact same things as I just showed you on the bigger one. So it's nice if you want your passenger to control the stereo, you got it. There's your battery switches, nice lit up storage area. And here's your staggered 700s. You do have fender holders within here as well, but your engine compartment is very clean. And this boat is probably documented currently as well. There's some batteries. And your Halon system is right over there as well. So we're in the cabin. Um, as you can see, we have shore power AC. It has a fusion head unit. There's your CO2 detector. This is just a nice little shelf then here are your controls shore power one and two you do have two ac main that's just a little storage area back there and then here's some deep storage with the sink underneath your countertop this is the newer cabin so you're gonna have nice wood accents it's an 08 And your headliner is in great condition. Vinyl's in great condition as well as carpet. Go to the front here. Here's your it's a cockpit cover. You do have two portholes up top. If 
you don't want to run your AC at the docks. And over here, smoked glass doors for your closet. And your head is a vacuum flush. Some nice shelving storage wise. A little more storage there too. Well, it's in great condition. I literally can not find any major issues whatsoever. There's underwater lighting control. So, let me know what you think.